from Krimer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The Steel and Engineering Federation of Southern Africa officially relaunched its CIFSA training center in Actonville in Benoni last month. Tasneem Bobulia attended the event and has a story. About a year and a half ago, CIFSA began a considerable structural and repositioning of the center to position it for the future and to bolster the quality of young artisans trained. The center is run in partnership with Tutukisa, a specialist advisory, consulting, project management and skills program delivery company. CIFSA CEO Lucio Trentini expands. Um, but 39 years ago, this center was established um, with a vision um, to empower our youth and adults through the development of modernized technical education and training programs um, in support of South Africa's commitment to, to tackling a scourge that is currently um, just taking our country apart, and that's unemployment. There's no doubt that South Africa desperately needs to utilize, absorb, and develop local people in industry in order to achieve economic progress and in the process tackle, we used to say, the triple challenges of inequality, poverty, and unemployment. But now, as most of us may know, there's a fourth challenge, and that's hunger. In pursuit of this goal, CIFSA realized a long, long time ago that emphasis must be given to training in key technical trades for our youth and adults. It is no secret that in order to create a skilled and knowledgeable workforce, technical knowledge and skill must be imparted. The CIFSA Training Center, um, which has always been known as a specialist apprentice training and trade test center, now in partnership with Tutukisa, is now able to offer a unique, one-stop, integrated, multiple benefit offering in the fields of skills development, business solutions to all its customers and clients. The CIFSA Training Center, quite different to the training center of a couple of years ago, is, continues to offer accredited apprenticeships, learnerships, technical and business skills development programs, safety and compliance for artisans, production personnel and management, business incubation, and we'll see the incubation center just now, and support a range of entrepreneurial programs. We are trying to take youth off the unemployment queue, teach them skills to become young entrepreneurs, and we will help them, we will support them um, to create their own businesses. Consulting and project management, corporate programs, and a range of human capital and services solutions. Um, the CIFSA Training Center is committed to developing the knowledge and skills pipeline for our industry. Our data from this training center tells us that 83% of all learners who graduate from this facility are readily absorbed and find employment in the sector. With this amazing new partnership with Tutukisa, this new investment, um, which you will see when we tour it just now, and commitment to reaching our goals, the CIFSA Training Center, relaunched officially today, stands testament um, to our commitment, CIFSA and Tutukisa's commitment, to developing today's workforce for the world of tomorrow. The CIFSA Training Center is truly well on its way on establishing itself as a world-class training center, ready to take on tomorrow, fully owned, fully owned and managed by CIFSA and Tutukisa. The CIFSA of yesterday, today and tomorrow is committed, fully supportive, and will continue to do everything we can to ensure that the center does indeed achieve all of the goals and objectives well into the future. The CIFSA Training Center has been very well known for being a leader in technical training and in particular a, a well, well-run apprentice training center that is known throughout the country and has consistently had very high pass rates throughout its, its, its history. And, and so we remain as, as a, a core technical training center but we've expanded to become a comprehensive training center with a new vision, uh, a refreshed vision, if you will, uh, which says that we, um, we now offer a more comprehensive set of people and organizational solutions 
uh, under the guidance of the new management. Because we realize technical skills alone doesn't get you out into the world of work and business and, in, and contributing to our economy. There needs to be some other things that go with it. And so they're the focuses of a more comprehensive set of offerings that are integrated and holistic. This center is accredited. It's accredited with QCTO. It has been accredited with Mercita for, since its existence 39 years ago. It's accredited with Chiata. But in addition to that, we have a range of partnerships with a whole host of other CETAs, such as EW CETA, Services CETA, P CETA, SAS CETA, a whole range of them. We work very closely with them, and, and we, we support them in projects that they want, uh, want to uh, roll out. The new area we brought in is e-learning, and we one of two companies in Southern Africa to have the license for Amatrol, which is quite an amazing e-learning e-assessment package. It, it takes you quite deeply into 4IR technologies as well as the traditional trades and technical training. But much of what we, we are offering now that is new sits on the right hand side, which is entrepreneurship, uh, you know, uh, success programs, career development and a whole host of other programs. Our core focus and 70% and, and of our work is still in the technical areas and so apprenticeships, trade test preparation and so on remain at the heart of what we do. We're one of the largest private uh, sector training centers, uh, well established. We have, we have accreditation and we run 10 trades and we, are, we trade test in 10 trades. There's not many that can claim that kind of um, that kind of capacity and capability or delivery. To summarize some of the new developments, we since the beginning of 2021, we've revamped this, uh, the center. We actually removed the entire roof. It's a new roof, it's airy, it's light. Quite an enormous project and still keeping training going and, and keeping it going in a very safe manner. We've not stopped uh, our training. Uh, we've now created quite a high roof, if you look above. Uh, it enables us now to, to put up mezzanine floors and increase our floor capacity, uh, to bring in more classrooms, to do more high-tech uh, training, uh, and that journey will, will unfold quite rapidly in the next two to three years. As you can see, we, um, we, we've upgraded equipment, we're bringing new innovative projects and, and one of the, the very, very, uh, very interesting projects that we bought in partnership with uh, RMA uh, was setting up a business incubation uh, center and innovation hub. We've taken 10 people through, uh, through the program. They now have registered businesses uh, in electrical and in, in other trades, in IT uh, and in production. And, and we give them a lot of work that our clients pass on to us. So we now are going to be expanding those programs quite substantially. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.